Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing it? It is me, Johnny Sports, and you guys have smashed over 2,000 likes only within one and a half hours. That is a record for my channel, so thank you guys so much for the love and support on the first episode today. Hopefully you guys will smash that like button on this one as well. In the last episode, we have been talking about this issue right here. We only have Skirtle and Sako and Riedewald in the centre-back position. Lori is at Aston Villa and I actually want to keep him there so Lori will stick to Aston Villa and you guys have suggested some beasts in the comments down below we already have over 350 comments and during the half time of the Chelsea versus Arsenal game which was just being played right now when I'm recording this I actually looked through the comments and I saw you guys suggesting Ginta and Ginta is a player from Borussia Dortmund, 6 foot 3 tall. He does have some decent potential on him, but he's only a squad rotation player for Borussia Dortmund. So this was the perfect opportunity for us to grab us a really, really good talent that I have never used on any FIFA in any of my career modes. So I thought this would be a really good player to get into the squad. Obviously, I could have gone for the big ones that you guys suggested, like Laporte or Zuma. But these are like the ones that everyone will buy. And I really want to create a team that not everyone has. So I'm going ahead and uh, trying to get Ginta in my squad. And I have to tell you one thing, Ginta actually played five games this season, had one goal, and six assists, not six assists, sorry, five assists for Borussia Dortmund already. And he's a center back. I believe he's playing on the right back position at times. I'm not too sure, but he does have an amazing record this season. But I already talked enough about Ginta. Let's move into our second match in the BPL. And I'm actually playing the youngsters. Dragovski is making his debut. And also Riedewald is making his debut for Liverpool in this match. We're starting off with Ings on the ball. Passing it over to Gabriel. Gabriel gets past the defender. Cross it in. But sadly that one doesn't land in front of our striker. But there is Gabriel once again. This time passing it to Ings. Who is getting to it. He does get into the penalty area. But he gets taken down. The referee gives the penalty for Liverpool to take in the 45th minute. Yes, this is the final chance in the first half and Gabriel has an 80 rating on his penalties. I just had to take it with him. Top left corner, it's a goal for Gabriel, his second goal for Liverpool in his debut match. He actually managed to score and once again in this one, he's starting off really nicely. But here is another chance for Liverpool. It is the 49th minute. Danny Ings on the ball. Cuts inside. And his shot sadly gets deflected. So we need to calm down a little bit right now. We need to go ahead and defend this lead. And Dragovski shows really good reflexes on this chance for Bournemouth. And I decided to play my youngsters or so to say my reserves team. Because I really wanted to see how good they are. And Dragovski makes another top class save in the 73rd minute keeping us the lead straight after that chance of Bournemouth we are making some changes Storage, Miller and Divock Origi are joining into the game in order to maybe go ahead and score one more goal and finish this one up nicely and Storage is on the ball right here he passed it over into the middle Lalana is through Lalana does see Gabriel make a run Gabriel can he get a second one he does take the shot and it gets deflected but still goes in this time a very similar situation to the one that Danny Ings had earlier on but uh, Gabriel seems to be the luckier striker Lalana gets the assist and that is a weird goal to score the goalkeeper probably would have got into it but the defender just really wanted to get a touch on that one and we are counter-attacking the shit out of Bournemouth Lalana trying his best with a nice shot but I should rather focus on the defending right now because there's not much to go. Four minutes at it. Atsu on the ball. Right hand side. He will cut inside. Really good player in this game by the way. And Gosling will take a shot and Dragovski is just not able to get to it. That was a perfect shot for Bournemouth. I really wanted to keep a clean sheet but I just wasn't able to. I'm sorry Dragovski, you really did a great job. No chance on that shot. Moving on though, this game still hasn't ended. The referee is still waiting to blow the whistle. And this pissed me off so much because I messed it up. 
And we conceded again! Two goals in the 90th minute from Bournemouth to take away the three points from Liverpool. Could you believe it? No one on the pitch could believe it. I mean, come on! This is totally my fault. On both goals, I have defended terribly because I seriously don't know how to defend yet on this game and I have to take that one on to myself. I'm sorry, assistant coaches. I messed up. We could have gotten the three points, but we didn't. But we have to look forward into the future and just hope that we will be able to get wins like that just done within the first or second half because giving them a chance, like two chances in the 90th minute, that is ah, uh, that is just so stupid from me. And Dortmund didn't want to sell Ginter. They actually wanted more money. So I offered 9 million instead of the 11 million they asked for. And talking about asking for something, Gabriel, after the good performances that he had right now, he's getting a little bit annoying. He's asking to play in this next match against Arsenal in the starting lineup. I wasn't expecting that at all. Arsenal is in the fifth spot, so they are on the same amount of points as we are. Two games, four points for both teams. And Arsenal are playing at home at the Emirates, and this game would be a big one. If we win this one, we will have a decent little gap between us and Arsenal and I'm looking forward to get that gap in this match. We are passing it over to Milner with the first shot in this match. And I have to tell you guys, Milner is no joke. This guy is actually really good in this game. Alberto Moreno gets fouled from Giroud in the middle of the park and you can see that the referee will give him a card but no one was expecting a red card. Giroud already receiving a red card just like he did for Arsenal only a few days ago. He got a red card and they actually lost their game. I believe it was in the Champions League. So we are now playing against 10 men and that obviously was a big advantage for me but it wasn't easy. Roberto Firmino with a great turn, another nice skill. Roberto Firmino could have scored a really nice goal right there but sadly he wasn't able to and he can't believe it himself. Benteke is being subbed off, Mesut Ozil coming in for Arsenal but we are definitely hoping that our changes will have more of an impact. Origi, Gabriel and Danny Inks joining in so three offensive players. Arsenal passing it around in their defense they're trying to get away but there's no way through we do get to it. Danny Inks with the pass to Gabriel in the 86th minute. Gabriel scores once again. It's a goal that will get us the win in this match if we can hold on to it. Gabriel joins into the match and straight away scores the goal to get the three points and that is a great job done by Danny Ings who gets the interception and who does score all my players are set to aggressive interception so they are looking for it when the opponent is playing it around in the back did you just see what Alexis just tried or was it Santi Cazorla they could have scored an amazing equalizer but luckily in this match we're actually able to hold on to the three points and we have gotten them in a much more important match than it was against Bournemouth. Arsenal are definitely contenders for the spots we are going for. We want to qualify for the Champions League and Arsenal is definitely an opponent for those spots. And Gabriel is happy after that last match. He asked to play. He came in and he proved me wrong in saying that he was asking for too much. But obviously, he just scored the most important goal in that match. The only one to get us the three points and because of that I thought he deserved a training just specified for him. I trained him four times and then I decided to train one of my defenders but Gabriel really good job and also we are looking into Ginta again. The center back 21 years old and Borussia Dortmund have accepted our offer. 9 million was our offer even though they wanted to have 11 million but Ginta Seems to be not an easy guy to convince to join our squad. But we are looking into this a bit further and we are offering him a new contract. 
and then we had to play an easy match against Leighton Orient in the Capital One Cup, so I decided to play my reserves team, or my youngsters, so to say, and Gabriel managed to score again, Danny Ink scored twice, Jordan Ibe scored once, and Lalana also scored once, so a 5-1 result, which gets up the morale on the bench and on the reserves a little bit more, because these guys obviously want to get as much playing time as possible, but Ginta once again declined our contract contract offer I had to offer him 80k an important first team player so whenever one of our players gets injured it must be Ginter playing in that position over Riedewald and we will now see what kind of a rating he has in this game because I have honestly not seen it Matthias Ginter is on a 77 so he is two points above Riedewald let's take a look at how he looks in the game on the right hand side you can see He's a tall, blonde German. He does have some really nice stats on him. 79 stand tackle, 77 slide tackle, 3 star weak foot, right footed. He can also play in the center defensive midfield position, which is really important. But that also shows us that we probably need to train his short and long passing throughout this career mode to make him a proper CDM replacement at some point if we need him to play in that position. After that win against Arsenal, we have actually made it up to the 6th spot, but Arsenal is still right below us because they have won their next game. And assistant coaches, trust me, I am reading through the comments because otherwise I wouldn't have known that I could actually play this formation. You guys have told me in the comments that I can actually play Sturridge and Benteke in the striking position, so I decided to try that out against West Ham United. I'm actually too shy to do this at times because I feel like you should have at least five midfielders in the middle and you need three central players because the passing and the interceptions that is really important in this game and we do start off with James Miller hitting the free kick onto the crossbar could have been a perfect start but it didn't work out now Skirtle with the pass over to I believe that is Benteke Benteke gets past the player pass it over to Coutinho and Coutinho gets taken down another penalty given to Liverpool in the BPL and it is a red card two red cards for our opponents in only two games and Adrian has to go out after this one and Sturridge needs to score his first goal in the BPL season yes he does he's playing in a striking position and he does his signature move right there one nil for Liverpool against West Ham United already and we are looking good boys we are looking good in this match since they have gotten a red card and hopefully we can just hold on to this lead or even extend it 35th minute Coutinho somehow gets to the header I'm always quite surprised when one of my smaller players is able to get a header on target but uh, this time it didn't really work out for Coutinho 66th minute talking about Coutinho I really wanted to try his long shot abilities in this one now that he has some space in the midfield and we are looking to cross it in and it will be a cross that lands on Christian Benteke his head it's 2-0 for our team and we are moving on to take the three points in the BPL once again I'm slowly getting used to this game honestly at the start I couldn't even get one goal in against the world-class opponent but now it's working and we are in the 87th minute the goalkeeper of our opponents is actually out so Sturridge tried to pass it over to Benteke Benteke does see Henderson he could take the shot right here he decides to dribble and he has some space Henderson Henderson just gets it past the goalkeeper somehow and scores a long shot goal so to say in the 89th minute to make it 3-0 for our team let me tell you this that red card basically decided this match West Ham United just tried to defend the whole time they were not really attacking and luckily for the second time in a row we actually made it to go ahead and keep the clean sheet so I'm really happy to see that happen the defense needs some good form on them to be able to defend but in that first match that we played against Bournemouth you could see that my defending is still not on point but take a look at the stats of Gabriel five games played five goals and one assist and he is now declared the super sub in this series Gabriel the young talent 
from Brazil coming over as the new Neymar is able to get five goals in in his first five matches what do you guys think about Gabi goal leave a comment with hashtag Gabi goal and then tell me what you think of him but right now the league table is looking like this Liverpool with three wins one draw and zero losses on 10 points but the strongest opponents are still yet to come I feel like we will have a tough time because our next opponent is the big one Manchester United versus Liverpool on the next episode I really hope you guys are looking forward to it the transfer deadline day is over we are not making any more transfers and I personally I'm looking forward for this season and let me know in the comments down below do you want me to play a 4-2-2-2 formation or do you want me to keep the 4-5-1 formation let me know in the comments down below assistant coaches I always need your help and now enjoy the player of the episode which is Gabriel